Ching had always dreamed of helping animals in need. That's why he studied zoology and veterinary medicine for many years. A simple degree as a veterinarian wouldn't fulfill Ching's ambitions. So he took additional years to specialize in caring for tropical animals. To say that his entire family was proud of him would be an understatement. Especially since he graduated early and as the top of his class. Ching had worked hard. And now it was time to fulfill his dream. And become the youngest animal caretaker at the Shanghai Wildlife Park. At that time. He couldn't have known how much this place would impact his life. Nor did he have a favorite animal. However, that would soon change due to a deep friendship. One day, during his lunch break. Ching received a call from a customs officer. At the port who was in complete panic. His colleagues had checked a container. And discovered an elephant calf under the most horrific travel conditions. It was Ching's first mission to save an animal from illegal trade. And even more so, it was an elephant calf. A few hours later. Ching stood at the gate of the wildlife park. To welcome the unfortunate creature. The elephant calf could still walk. So Ching ensured that the transport to its enclosure was not rushed. He wanted the elephant to come out of the truck by itself. No matter how long it took. At this point, nothing was more important than ensuring a calm. And soothing arrival for the newcomer. The customs officer explained to Ching that the cargo. Where they found the elephant. Was understood to be a big police operation. That rescued several baby elephants. Before they were shipped worldwide to wildlife traffickers. However, this particular elephant had been transported away. Before the raid took place. The customs officer described the horror. That this elephant calf had endured. And it was truly unspeakable. Its entire herd had been attacked by poachers. And all the baby elephants were captured for trafficking while the adults suffered unimaginable atrocities. The fact that this little elephant was still alive was nothing short of a miracle. Ching and the customs officer named the elephant Holly. Meaning, Holy. There was no doubt that Holly was traumatized by what he and his family had experienced. Even after two hours, he still wouldn't come out of the truck. Ching volunteered to oversee the procedure so that the rest of the team could go home. It took another four hours before Holly finally came out and started searching for water. The poor elephant was emaciated and disoriented. Its steps were wobbly and its balance was uncertain. After exploring the enclosure, Holly tried to cautiously approach Ching, but fear got the better of him and he quickly hid behind a massive rock at the back of the enclosure. He refused to come out until the next morning. The next day. The chief veterinarian came to check on Holly and determined. That he was about five years old and severely underweight. During transport. He had lost a significant amount of body weight. So it was crucial for him to start eating again. Beyond the physical torture he endured. Holly was deeply scarred by the attack on his family and the negative experiences he had with humans. It was clear that he now feared people, and considered any physical contact with them risky. This presented Ching, who was assigned as his main caretaker, with significant challenges. However, Ching refused to force anything upon Holly. He didn't want to risk causing deeper wounds. Instead, he decided to approach the situation with utmost care. Every morning, Ching would arrive early for work to spend an hour with Holly. Before his shift began that he brought fruits, nuts, games, and even music to try to break the ice. Ching did everything he could think of to earn Holly's trust. He often stayed with Holly until late at night after finishing work. After a few weeks, a solid routine developed. And the two of them became closer and closer. The moment when Holly first placed his trunk on Ching's shoulder. As a sign of friendship and trust was one of. 
the most beautiful moments in the animal caretaker's life. Their bond grew steadily over time. And over a period of 40 years, Holly and Ching developed a wonderful relationship described by some as that of a father and son. Holly grew into a powerful gray elephant, and the connection between them remained strong. Having grown up, while seeing the traces of a 64-year-old grandfather on Shink's face, they had gone through time together, and had become a significant part of each other's lives. Despite this strong bond, Shink knew that when the time for his retirement came, he had to return to his hometown to take care of his aging mother. His heart was torn, but he knew it was the right thing to ensure his mother's well-being in her final phase of life. On his last day of work, Shink visited Holy's enclosure before his departure. He promised himself not to get too emotional. But while quietly talking to Holy, tears rolled down his face, and his voice became shaky. There were simply no words to express what he felt. His heart was pounding in his throat as he stroked Holy's trunk and gave the biggest hug he could to such a massive adult elephant. Holy didn't understand why Shink was so sad and emotional. But after a few days without his favorite human, everything became clear. For months, Holy mourned the absence of the man he considered as his father. Day and night, he eagerly waited for his return. But Shink couldn't come back. Two years later, Shink's mother passed away due to her age. And the former animal caretaker was inconsolable. Not even his closest friends could ease the pain he was going through. One day, Shink's youngest son decided to take his father to Shanghai to visit someone he knew would touch his heart. When they arrived at the wildlife park, Shink immediately recognized his son's plan. For the first time in a very long time, he smiled. But he was also nervous. Unsure if Holy would recognize him or forgive him for leaving. However, the moment the majestic elephant spotted his best friend, he couldn't contain his joy. Holy began jumping around. Stretching his long trunk high in the air. And trumpeted loudly to greet Shink. The former zookeeper was surprised and moved to tears. Nothing had changed. And he ran to embrace Holy for a long time. While the elephant gently stroked the head of his favorite human. Just as he had done for 40 years. Shink felt his heart fill up again. Holy not only hadn't forgotten him. But he also didn't need any time to recognize him and show his love. It was a truly beautiful and special moment. Holy held no grudge against Shink for retiring. And was overwhelmed with joy at being reunited. After all, Shink had saved Holy's life. And not only cared for him daily for 40 years. But also gave him what every being deserves, unconditional love. In our impression. The wolf is a fierce and terrible carnivore. If you meet the wolf in the wild it is a very terrible thing. Unfortunately, the old man met a female wolf. And the old man was scared to change his face. But I didn't expect the female wolf to have such an incredible move next. The story takes place in Cooper North Island in southeastern Alaska. For this old man living nearby. The beginning of this day is no different from usual. He came out of the forest and walked along the brook. When suddenly he found that. A huge wolf appeared less than 20 paces away from him. The old man was startled. He lived here for half his life. Of course, he knew how dangerous the wolf was. If he was not careful. He might become the wolf's meal. Strangely, this wolf doesn't seem to show obvious aggressiveness. The old man immediately noticed that something was wrong with the wolf. And it turned out that one of its legs had been caught by an old clip. Which was a set trap specially used to catch prey. He knew that if the wolf was trapped in a trap all the time. He would die here because he couldn't find food and his wound was infected. But it was too dangerous to approach a wolf rashly. 
The old man looked at the wolf and hesitated. The trapped wolf had no strength to break free from this trap. And his injury deepened because of his previous struggle. The wolf looked at the old man sadly and seemed to beg him to help himself. Just then the old man noticed another thing. And he found that it was a female wolf whose breasts were full of milk. Which meant that it had just given birth. Somewhere nearby. There must be a litter of hungry pups waiting for their mother. For from the condition of the female wolf. The old man guessed it had been trapped for several days. The old man has no tools. And it is not safe to approach a hungry adult female wolf rashly. But the wolf cub will definitely not survive if it is not fed. Although he couldn't save his mother. He could bring the cubs. The old man began to look for clues to the wolf's nest. Fortunately, the old man soon found the cub's footprints on a path. Which took him through the forest. Then up a rocky slope. And finally, the old man found the nest. Under a huge spruce tree. For young wolves began to emerge carefully from their nests. In order to facilitate the transfer. The old man put the wolf cubs into thick sacks one by one. And then walked back along the slope. When he came to the open space where the female wolf was located. The female wolf immediately recognized the man. It looked at the sack in his hand nervously. Probably smelling the smell of its children. And she let out a sharp cry. It can be seen that the mother wolf is eager to reunite with her children. When the old man released the cubs. The baby wolves ran to their mother. And they immediately sucked milk. The old man watched their interaction. And he was glad that he could reunite the family. The female wolf was feeding the cubs attentively. When the old man tried to get close to them. The female wolf's attention immediately turned to him. And began to roar threatening. Perhaps it is precisely because the child has returned to it. That the female wolf is more vigilant. The old man didn't know what to do. The female wolf was obviously afraid of hurting her children. He couldn't get close to the female wolf. But he wanted to help them. Like its children. The mother wolf must be hungry. And if she had been trapped here all the time. It would have been impossible for her to look for food. So the old man decided to find some food that the mother wolf could eat. Not only to fill her stomach but also to gain her trust to help her solve the trap. The old man went to the stream. And he found a dead deer. So he cut off one of its hind legs. And went back to the wolf. When the old man stepped into the open space again. The mother wolf's attention came to him again. The old man cut the meat into small pieces. And threw a few pieces in the direction of the wolf. The mother wolf sniffed and then devoured it, and when all the food was eaten up, the old man made himself a humble lodging, and soon fell asleep. At dawn, the old man was awakened by four furry cubs. He looked at the female wolf and began to find ways to help it. In the next few days, the old man allocated his time. He had to gain the trust of the female wolf. He talked with it gently, threw it more venison, played with its cubs, and perhaps worried about his children. The female wolf's eyes never left him. But as the days passed, the mother wolf seemed calmer and calmer before the old man. And on the evening of the fifth day, the old man brought the mother wolf daily venison. And the pups leaned up intimately. They seemed to have trusted the human being in front of them, hoping that he can help his mother. And even the female wolf wagged her tail gently. The old man felt that he had gained trust and decided to take a chance. He leaned gently down to touch them. And this time the mother wolf did nothing. And showed no threatening expression. Which was a good sign. Then the old man laid his hand gently. On the injured leg of the mother wolf. And now he was closer. And he could see that the trap was broken and only caught the wolf's two toes. And she was alright as long as the old man opened it. 
the old man soon found the release spring, opened the trap, and at once the mother wolf jumped away from the trap and began to run everywhere. And at last it was able to move again. After releasing the mother wolf, who did not show any attack, she approached the old man carefully, sniffed him, and licked him, and then turned and limped into the wood with her cub, before disappearing completely. The mother wolf turned to the old man, and seemed to want him to follow them. The old man was puzzled, and it slowly followed the little family they ascended the north mountain of Cooper. A few miles away, until they came to a meadow in the Alps, where a pack of wolves lurked on the outskirts of the forest. And he counted, and there were nine adult wolves. From their lively movements it seemed, as though they were still very young. And after a few minutes of greeting the wolves began to howl. A terrible sound, with the majesty of the beast. That night the old man put up his tent on the edge of the grass. And he sat by the fire. And he could see many wolves coming in and out. However, he was not afraid. For he knew that the animals were only curious about him. The old man knew it was time to go. He packed up the campsite. And Mother Wolf watched him clean up all the time. When he reached the other side of the meadow. He looked back and saw the Mother Wolf sitting with her children. Looking at him in the direction in which he was leaving. Then the Mother Wolf let out a long wailing cry as if she were saying goodbye to him. And then she disappeared into the wood with her pack of wolves. For years later, the old man returned to the stream. And the fresh air in Alaska bushes was pleasant. Walking along the brook. He met the trap from which he had rescued the mother wolf. And at the sight of it the old man had a strange feeling. That drove him to the grass that had once been. On the grass, the old man shouted into the distance. Surprisingly, there was an echo in the distance. He saw a dark figure moving slowly towards him, and as it crossed the grass he saw that it was a wolf. And he recognized the familiar figure at once. The wolf approached the old man slowly. His ears stood up, his body was tight. And he stopped a few meters away. Suddenly, its bushy tail began to sway slightly. Yes, it recognized the man who had saved their family. The female wolf didn't disturb the old man, but just made a face-to-face -face like an old friend, and then turned and left.